Our episode begins with a man running away from something in a castle. Unfortunately for him, he ends up on a ledge with no place to go. When he looks like he's about to jump, a hand grabs him. The next thing we see is a female vampire going after his neck. Next we see Hercules teaching kids basketball. After some really dumb puns, he gets a message from King Vlad. He says that his village is being attacked by Strigoi and he needs Hercules' help to defeat them. After getting a not so warm welcome from some angry villagers when he arrives who doesn't trust strangers thanks to the vampire attacks, they end up making a deal that they'll go to Vlad's castle together as the one named Galen needs to find his sister who had gone there for refuge. On their way they find a disturbing sight of bodies impaled and propped up. The group decides to camp there before some of the bodies vamp out and attack them. The survivors of the attack, Galen, Hercules, and Aeolus, end up at the castle and are warmly welcomed by Vlad who invites them to eat and stay with them. Vlad explains to Hercules that the impaled bodies are out there as a warning to those who would try to attack once they found out his father, the previous ruler, had died by his hand. That's when we see that Vlad doesn't have a reflection and that he himself is a vampire. Hercules, not trusting the situation, informs the crew that they are not going to sleep. They head to the castle dungeon and end up finding many villagers chained to the wall, drained of blood, and barely alive. Hercules goes to Vlad's room to confront him, but just misses him having a conversation about turning Galen with his sister, who we see is a vampire as well. Vlad says he originally wanted Hercules to kill him, but changed his mind once he realized the power he had as a vampire. Hercules threatens to stop him before Vlad disappears. Elsewhere in the castle, Galen hears the voice of his sister echoing in the halls. He eventually finds and has a happy reunion with her before realizing she's cold to the touch. She tries to seductively recruit him, but seeing that she's a vampire, he tries to get away from her as quickly as he can, but she attacks him, draining him. I know what it's like to live without helplessness. Let me show you how no! Eolus, hearing Galen scream, goes to see what's going on. He finds Galen's lifeless body, missing an arm, but regenerating. Before he can realize what's happening, Nadia attacks him as well. She takes off before Hercules can get to her, leaving Eolus to then turn. Galen then awakens as a vampire, begging Hercules to kill him, but he refuses, saying there must be a better way. Vlad once again confronts Hercules and makes him an offer, his friend's life for his blood, which he agrees to. Annoying to Vlad, Hercules poisoned himself before getting drained, so the other vampires who drank his blood were poisoned from drinking it. Hercules has a final fight with Vlad while Aeolus does his best to fight his vampire urges and keep Galen and Nadia from interfering. The fight ends when Vlad tries to go invisible, but Hercules throws his wooden arrow, getting him in the heart, killing him, and turning everyone else back to normal. This would be the second of a trilogy of vampire-related episodes from the Hercules timeline, the first one being with young Hercules, and the final one being on an episode of Xena, Warrior Princess. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe, and hit the bell icon to know every time I update. If you want to help my channel grow, please check out my Patreon, where you can get access to content early, as well as see the content that can't be uploaded here on YouTube. Link will be in the description. Until next time.